Uh, during my time at the SPCA, I have not once seen a dog or cat been treated poorly. Every animal there is treated with loads of respect and love um, because they have, because of their backgrounds, um, most of them are strays or abused animals that we find just roaming the streets or um, we'll get called in from neighbors saying that they have an abused animal and we go out to get them and we nurse them back up to healthy and then we put them back on the market for people to adopt. I personally have never seen any animals be uh, mistreated, but I've seen uh, poor conditions that they are living in. Um, sometimes I'll see that the dogs haven't been taken out in a really long time and they'll pee in their cage and that's not okay. So I've never personally seen any dog get mistreated, but I've seen the conditions can be bad sometimes that they live in. Usually we'll get the dogs, um, most of them are strays. Um, sometimes we'll have transfers in, transfer, transfer uh, dogs from other SPCAs uh, in New Jersey or other places like that. Um, some of my court cases like uh, cage fighting dogs because the people are in court for it. So uh, we have to wait till that uh, court case is settled till we can put them back on the uh, the market for adoption um but yeah most of them are strays most most of our shelter is pit bulls as you can imagine um but we do have uh other varieties of dogs in there big small uh there's loads of dogs that you could pick from Every day is different for how many dogs we get at the SPCA. Our biggest day is Monday. That's when we get a lot of puppies that come in. But some days we might not get any dogs and other days we might get a lot of dogs. I don't know of any rumors that um, anyone else has heard that what you guys are talking about. Um, we treat our animals each with, like I said, loads of respect and love because they have not seen that. Um, they grew up as uh, cage fighters, uh, just abused animals. Uh, some some of the uh, dogs that you see in there or that I have seen being a volunteer are some of the most disturbing things that I ever wish to see. Um, but we treat our dogs each with amounts of love that I wish I got as a uh, as a kid um, but the rumors that I don't know the rumors that you guys have heard but they must not be true Uh, my dog costed a thousand dollars and we decided to go with the breeder instead of the pound just because uh, the type of dog that we got was hard to find at the pound and my parents didn't want to risk um, getting a dog that wasn't well behaved and I have never been to the ASPCA so I don't really know much about it. I got them from a company called the Seeing Eye. They're a company that gives dogs to people for them to train and then they become service dogs to help uh, blind people and it's located in Morristown, New Jersey. Um, they were given to us for free by the seeing eye. They give us a $75 check each month so actually they pay for us to take them. We paid $700 for my dog. We chose a breeder because it was more convenient than going to a pound and I have never been to the ASPCA. Hold on. Yeah, we okay, how old was the dog that you rescued from the SPCA? She was around uh, four months, and I don't think it was from the uh, SPCA. It's like from some lady. I don't know. So didn't you didn't have like a choice on? Well, there which was dog you had? a few dogs, yeah, but uh, 
They were all puppies. Okay. Would you consider rescuing an older dog? Yes. You would? Are you just saying that right now? No, no, I, I probably would because uh, just because it's harder to adopt older dogs. Um, I rescued my dog by actually finding her on the side of the road in the rain um, with a leash still on and we opened the door and she jumped right in the car. We rescued Jinx from the SPCA. Stop. She was really skinny. She was dirty and she still had the leash on her because she broke away from her previous owners and she was wet because it was raining. When we first got our dog, she was super skinny. She was super scared and nervous and when she, at night she wouldn't sleep near us. Are there many health conditions your dog has or had? She had really bad teeth. Um, when we found her, so she had to get five teeth pulled. Um, she also got jaundice a couple months ago, so she turned really yellow and almost died. Um, and she's had a couple other liver issues, but other than that, she is fine. My dog is happy and getting fat. Um, she loves to run around outside and she is much more personable than she was when we first found her because when we first found her she would not come like near people or upstairs and now she loves everything. Now she's normal weight and exercises a good amount.